everyone, this is Jason here to talk about what is quite probably the most anticipated shooter of 2009. And of course I'm talking about Modern Warfare 2 from Activision and Infinity Ward. Modern Warfare 2 picks up the storyline left over from its predecessor. In the first game you defeated the Russian ultranationalist Imran Zakayev, but it was at a heavy cost and you know the Russian ultranationalist movement is still alive and dangerous and this time it's being led by a guy named Vladimir Makarov who is unleashing a wave of terror around the globe. That's where you get to come in. Uh, now if you played a Call of Duty game before, you know you get to switch between different characters. So far, Infinity Ward has only revealed one playable character. It's Sergeant Gary Sanderson, otherwise known as Roach, of the British SAS. Now aside from the commercials that were shown during the NBA playoffs, the only real gameplay demo we've had comes from E3. The scene is where you see Roach and a buddy who must climb up a uh, mountain in the middle of a blizzard to infiltrate a Russian airbase. Interestingly enough, Roach's buddy in that sequence is Soap McTavish, who was the character you played in the first Modern Warfare. So now Soap is a captain, and he's filling in that role that Captain Price played in the first game. Price over, Roach. Let's go. Now, this Kazakhstan level is a nice example of how Modern Warfare 2 will kind of blend the series' trademark traditions with what's new. Uh, of course, there are the cinematic moments that Infinity Ward is known for, like the audacious climb up the icy side of a mountain in the middle of a blizzard that's complete with a Hollywood-esque leap of faith, and then, of course, there are the intense set-piece battles with plenty of bad guys. This first part of the mission involves stealth. You're navigating through a blinding snowstorm as you quietly eliminate the guards using silenced weapons and knives. But you also have some new toys to play with, including a heartbeat sensor that lets you detect the presence of human beings around you. Now you can go through this entire sequence kind of stealthily like the way you're supposed to, but the developers also say that you can try to run and gun your way through it. And if you do so, the entire base is going to go on full alert and it's going to be a lot harder, but at least it's an option. So that's kind of an idea of the choices you have in this sequel. Infinity Ward has some new streaming technology that allows for bigger levels than before. You'll see that when you're zipping around on a snowmobile while engaged in a running battle against other bad guys on snowmobiles and their helicopter gunships above. You get a sense of the scale of the level and how large it is. Now, if Modern Warfare had a weakness, it's in the way that enemies infinitely respawn until you hit an invisible tripwire. It's a pretty shallow and obvious gameplay mechanic that all the Call of Duty games have featured. Modern Warfare 2 is going to take steps to address that, though Infinity Ward is not giving out details as yet. What is clear is Infinity Ward's desire to make certain that you're not going to mistake Modern Warfare 2 with the first game. All too often when you see a sequel, there's usually an attempt to recycle as many assets as possible from the first game. That's really not the case here. Where the first game was all about dry desert environments, Modern Warfare 2 seems to be set everywhere but the desert. I mean, there's the aforementioned mountain level, there are the slums of Rio de Janeiro, there's some underwater scuba base levels, and there's even some kind of medieval castle on a cliff near the sea. What is also certain is that we are in for a very long summer of wait. We can expect more details to come out in the coming months as we get closer to the game's November release. And you can expect Modern Warfare 2 to ship on the PC, the PlayStation 3, and the Xbox 360 on November 10th. For the latest up-to-date details on Modern Warfare 2, make sure to keep tuned to IGN.com.